Alright guys, I'm back. And today we're going to have the most anticipated movies of 2012. I have 18 films here. Here. That I see some potential in. And I'm going to spread the word of just which ones I think are going to be at um, the best. Alright. I don't know how I want to do this though. Maybe I should just go from... I'm going to go from the 18. So, so basically it's going to be like... The, no, uh, top 18. So at number 18 we have Rock of Ages. It's a musical and yes, after a high school musical I swore I never would see another musical ever again. But, okay, but, Tom Cruise in this movie is fucking awesome. Tom Cruise is just awesome, okay? The man says not one word in a trailer, okay? He signs a girl's tits. Okay? He doesn't even look while he's doing it. He's just sitting there going, Damn, that's epic. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then if you got fucking, uh, fuck, Def, Zomp, Def Leppard and fucking, uh, uh, what's that group? Twisted Sister in there? You know how fucking rock on, hardcore I am on rock? Shit. I'm in. And then we got The Hobbit. Part 1, An Unexpected Journey. This movie looks pretty interesting. Not awesomely epic like everybody's gonna hype it up to be. Okay, I don't believe in hyping. Okay, I just believe in hoping that it's gonna be a good movie. And not bore me to death. And not be over four hours. <laughs> but um, it looks interesting. Uh, I, I'll probably check it out. Can't wait to see what, it, what it's gonna be about, you know. Got some people from the Lord of the Rings in there. Yes, I've never seen Lord of the Rings. Sue me. But I'll, I'll see what part one's about. Everything's a part one now, thanks to Harry Potter. Anyway. At number 16, you got Man on a Ledge with Sam Worthington. This movie looks kind of interesting. Sam Worthington is a man on a ledge. Literally on a ledge. While somebody... I think he's like the bait while like this type of heist thing is going on. It's something weird, but it looks pretty, pretty good. It looks like it's gonna be like one of those. It looks like one of those movies that's well written. I like well written movies. Okay, that's what the, that's what I go to the movies for. Well written plots. Okay, I often go to the movies just because it's a movie. Yeah, the Avengers is coming out. Yeah, it's the first movie ever to, to assemble a bunch of people. But if the story sucks, I'm not afraid to bash this movie. That movie. Okay? Like Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 was weak. Okay? I'm not afraid to say that. <laughs> Alright? So, yeah. Man on the Ledge looks like one of those well-written movies. Another movie that got me, that, got, that looks interesting, is Haywire. This looks like Jason Bourne, but with a woman. Hot woman. But a woman kicking ass, okay? And kick ass, she does, man. This movie looks awesome, okay? Um, I'm hoping the story is good, like always. Out of all these movies, I hope these stories are good. But, you know, it just stands out. I don't know why yet. Just like, this one of those movies that's gonna be good. 14, we have The Hunger Games. I never read the book, but this trailer looks like it's gonna be like one of those one of those movies that transition from a book really well, kinda of like what the notebook did. Yes, I like the notebook. Don't hate me. Okay. I like well written movies. Okay. Damn. <laughs> but the Hunger Games look like another one of those movies that came from a book that looks like it's gonna be well written. So I'm gonna can't wait to see what that's about. So yeah. And then we got <laughs> Piranha 3D D, okay, with two Ds, three double D. That's why I should call it. But but yeah, Piranha 3D was awesome. I love that movie. It was funny. It was stupid. It was just it was like Shark Night, but it had piranhas. That's why I like Shark Night because Shark Night reminded me of that. So I believe the people who made Piranha made Shark Night, which why they both so fucking good for me. But Piranha 3D probably is gonna be it's gonna be one of those movies I'm looking forward to that I have real high hopes for. Okay, so, yeah. But another movie that got my attention is Ridley Scott's Prometheus. Why? 
this that this movie trailer, by the way, almost all these trailers are going to be in my favorites, except for Piranha 3D, because that's not out yet. I'm, I'm it's on here, but I know it's coming. But um, Prometheus, it reminds me of Alien, especially when the title comes on and it's like you know how Alien came on, it's like little bits and pieces of the word and they all kept appearing all over the place. Yeah, Prometheus does that exact same thing. <laughs> and the trailer looks so awesome and it comes out in June you know me June is my birthday month I turn a quarter so you know when June 29th gets here 25th birthday I'm in the theater watching Prometheus one way or another job or not my ass is planted in that seat okay and for a ride <laughs> number 11 we have the gray so with Liam Neeson I this movie reminds me of uh, Frozen a lot because it has a lot to do with wolves attacking and killing people, you know. And wolves are the main villain in this movie, just like in Frozen. So, but it, Liam Neeson's getting ready to fight the damn things. Okay, I just gotta say one thing: awesome and epic. Okay, the the trail it just looks so good. This looks so good and simple. The plot looks simple. Okay. Um, it looks like a plane crash or some type of crash. We'll find out. Yes, this movie's going to be in here. Sue me if you don't care for this. But number 10, The Amazing Spider-Man. And yes, I do believe in a reboot can change because of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. If it's done right, okay, if the story is done right, I don't care about a costume, okay? Costumes only half the movie, okay? I don't care about actors. For what I can see from the social network, I don't think, uh, what's his name? Andrew Garfield, I don't think I'll have to worry about him, okay? I think he's gonna do fine. Emma Stone, do I really need to say anything? Um, remember, I go to the movies for story, okay? The story is what drives me and it puts me in a seat. It's the reason why I'm a movie reviewer, okay? So the if the story is good. If the story is good and the effects are okay, but the main thing is the story. That's the number one for me. I am in for Amazing Spider-Man 2. They already announced the sequel, even though the first one's not even out yet. <laughs> so yeah, number nine we have Skyfall. Now, but you wanna what is Skyfall? Well, Skyfall is Skyfall 007. That's the title of the movie, Skyfall. It's the 23rd James Bond movie with Daniel Craig, so November 9th, I am in that chair. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Number eight, Taken Two. Enough said, Taken Two, I'm in the seats. Resident Evil, Retribution. I'm in the chair. The Expendables Two, Arnold Schwarzenegger with a big ass machine gun. Bruce Willis with a bald head shooting shit up as well. Fucking Chuck Norris. Yeah. <laughs> the Dark Knight Rises. G.I. Joe Retaliation. You know what? You know what? Even though the first one sucked dick. Okay. That was Steven Summers. This movie, this G.I. Joe is written by the guys who made Crank. Okay, you know how I am about Crank. I love Crank, both of them. And I hope they're in charge for Crank 3, because that's going to be awesome. So, they're in charge of directing G.I. Joe re Retaliation. Okay, they killed off almost half of the Joe people, so you won't get Marlon Wayans. Thank you. Because I don't like Marlon Wayans. I don't like any of the Wayans, except for Damon. But, um, he's more mature. But, um, this just looks awesome. We got, um, Dwayne Johnson. Everybody keep calling him The Rock. I call him Dwayne Johnson. I'm not going to always see him as The Rock, okay? So, um, it just looks so epic. It like it, It's like some crap hits the fan. The Joe team, almost half of them are killed, basically. And it's only like, Four or five of them. And then at the very end of the trailer, 
Snake Eyes is on the mountain with some ninjas with some swords. And it, it, oh my god, that looks awesome. Ray Park, you are the man. Okay, enough said. Yes, I know, The Avengers is number three. Okay, yes, it's number three. So what? I don't care. It's on the most anticipated list of all time. So deal with it. Because, uh, remember, I want my story. If you ain't got a story for me, you're gonna have a I'm, you're gonna have a review that everybody wants to see. <laughs> um, American Reunion. About time we get American Pie four. Okay, the trailer looks funny. Both of them. I cannot wait for this. This is the last American Pie. Should have been the last American Pie in the first place. But um, everybody is back. Everybody. Okay, everyone. Nadia. Everybody. Stifler. Fucking Oz. Uh, Stifler's mom. Looks like Stifler's mom. Stifler's, I mean, and Jim's dad are going to hook up. Took him long enough. But still. And then at number one, we have Underworld Awakening. Yes, I love my Underworld franchise. We're basically, Underworld 4. Rise of Lycan's first Underworld 2. Well, originally Underworld, but I call it Underworld 2 now because of Rise of the Lycans. And Underworld 3, basically Underworld uh, Evolution and now Awakening. Come on now. I think Michael's going to be the main villain of this movie, even though you won't actually see Scott Speedman in the movie because he's not in the movie. But I think Michael is a, a turned into a full Lycan now. He's going to turn into like a full monster, so you'll never see what he'll look like. He's always going to look like that from the way the trailer looks. And Selene's going to have to figure out how if she has to kill him or leave him like that. I don't know, but it looks epic, and I can't wait. Okay, can't wait. And that is my most anticipated movies of 2012. Leave me some video responses if you want to, or comment at the bottom of the page which ones. Which is your most anticipated movie of 2012. And yeah, I am, that's it. I'm JW. I am out. Later.